Another new feature that was introduced into Windows 7 is called the Home Group, and basically it's a private community that you can set up on your existing network, where you can share files in a more organized and efficient manner to others in the Home Group than through the basic file sharing across the network, as we covered in the previous training videos. And to basically be part of this Home Group, your computer has to have the operating system Windows 7 and obtain a password from others in the Home Group or create the Home Group yourself and hand out the password, but you want to keep in mind that others on the home group have access to the password and can hand it out as well. So trust who you're bringing into the home group club. Now I already mentioned one of the requirements is that your computer has to have the operating system Windows 7. Let me go ahead and cover the remaining two. The second requirement is that you have to have a home network set up because the home group is basically a file and printer sharing overlay on your existing home network. So you got your network set up, your cables plugged in, or if you're going wireless, your wireless set up. And as you recall in an earlier training video, you have three different types of networks that you can set up. You have home, work, or public. And the home group is only available and will work on the home network type. So how do you find out what type of network you have set up? You can open up any folder on your computer, like the exercises here. Come over here in the navigation pane, click on Network, and then come up here on the command bar and click on Network and Sharing Center. Let me go ahead and double click on the header bar to maximize the window. And there it is. I'm on the home network. If it says Work or Public, you want to change it, go ahead and click on the link. And you get the three choices. Be sure to select Home Network and follow the wizard to set that up. I'm going to go ahead and close out. And then the final requirement is that only one home group on a network can be created. So if somebody has already created a home group, then you'll have to get the password from them in order to join that home group. Or you can get it from anybody who's actually on the home group because everybody has access to the password. And I'll show you how to access that after we create it. And it's really easy to create the home group if nobody else has. In the Network and Sharing Center that we came to to see what type of network we're set up on, if we're set up on the home network, then down below we can go ahead and choose the home group and sharing options. When you click on it, if a home group hasn't been created, you'll get the create a home group button. Otherwise, if there has been one created, you get a join home group button. So go ahead and click on create a home group. In the pop-up window, it'll ask you what type of printers or files that you'd like to share. For some reason, everything's checked but the documents. But you want to keep in mind, as it says up here, that the home group is password protected, and you'll always be able to choose what you want to share with the group. So go ahead and choose what you want to share, and then go ahead and click Next. Give it a second or two while it thinks about it and sets it up, and here we go. There's the password. So we have the password that if anybody else wants to join the home group, and remember there can only be one home group on the network, so if it's been created, everybody has to come to me to get the password. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish and close out. And then you can see up above you have all the folders that are in the libraries that are currently being shared. What does that mean? Well, let me go ahead and close out. If I open up any folder on my computer, double click here. Remember, over in the navigation pane, I have the libraries. And when I click on the arrow to turn it down, and I click on these arrows to turn down the documents, the public documents are going to be shared in the home group. So if I have any files within the public documents folder, the home group has access to it. And we'll go ahead and cover this in the home group sharing training video. But for right now, we learn how to create a home group. So let me go ahead and close out of here, because if somebody comes up to you and says, hey, I want to join the club, how do I go ahead and get the password to join the home group? And for you to find the password, you just have to open up any folder on your computer, again, my exercises, over in the navigation pane, click on Network. Come up here and click on Network and Sharing Center. I'm going to go ahead and maximize the window with the double click on the header bar and come down here and click on Choose Home Group and Sharing Options, just like you were going to set it up on your computer. But instead of setting it up, because we already have it set up, you just need to come down here and click on View or Print the Home Group Password. Click on it. It opens up. You can click on Print This Page or just read it to them or write it in a little sticky note, but it is case sensitive, so make sure that you get these letters right, whether they're caps or not. And that's it. Once they join the Home Group, let me go ahead and close out of here, when you open up any folder on your computer, over here in the navigation pane, instead of going through the network, you can go through the home group for those who join the home group, and we'll cover that in the next couple of training videos.